Hi there, I'm Vaidatas and in this video I'll teach you how to delete a theme in WordPress using three different methods. Let's get started. Why and when should you delete a WordPress theme? It's a common practice to install several WordPress themes and test them before finally deciding on the perfect option for your website. But having too many unused themes is not healthy for a WordPress website. Here are the two main reasons why. First, security. You'll be less likely to update unused themes, right? While in reality, all the themes and plugins installed on your WordPress website should be updated regularly, whether you're still using them or not. Outdated files can have security vulnerabilities, leaving room for attackers to sneak into your website. Second, performance. If you have numerous themes installed, your site won't work as fast and efficiently. Every theme on your website eats up storage space, adding up to your backup files and cluttering your database. If you pile up too many unused themes, you may even exceed the storage capabilities of your hosting plan and end up needing an upgrade. You might still be thinking, maybe I want to use those themes again in the future, but in reality, you should just remove them. To help you sort out what themes you should delete, pay attention to these three indicators. First, you have activated a new theme, so the previous one is no longer in use. Second, the theme installed for testing purposes isn't suitable for your needs. Third, the theme is old, so there is little chance of you using it, and there have been no updates or support from the developer team for quite some time. On the other hand, there are some cases when unused WordPress themes are still necessary, if you're on a WordPress multi-site network, you cannot delete themes that are currently active on another subsite. Often, webmasters use free themes for testing purposes, so deleting them may cause errors. Therefore, remember to cross-check with other users within your network before deleting any theme. Also, don't delete an unused parent theme if you're currently using its child theme. Deleting the parent theme will make your child theme stop working, leading to a lot of errors you'll have to deal with. If you have a staging website, we recommend deleting the theme there to see how it would affect your website. But if you don't, it's better to back up the website before making any changes. Once you have the website back up, let's move on to the first and easiest way to delete a WordPress theme. Deleting a theme via the WordPress dashboard is the simplest option. You only need to have administrator privileges, meaning you can access and remove the themes installed on your WordPress site. Here's how you do it. From your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Appearance and then choose Themes. The first WordPress theme listed in the directory is your active theme. Hover over the inactive theme you want to delete and click Theme Details. A pop-up window like this will appear, detailing the chosen theme. Click on the Delete option in the bottom right corner of the window. A pop-up warning will appear. Click OK to remove the theme. Users who don't have access to the WordPress admin dashboard can use an FTP client to access the website files. The FTP method also helps solve the error message, deletion failed, the theme requested does not exist. It generally appears when the initial deletion process fails to remove all the theme files from your site. So, the first step is connecting to your FTP. After that, find the WordPress content folder in the root directory and open up the themes folder. Locate the theme you want to delete, right-click it and select Delete. Then click Yes on the pop-up warning. Be extra careful when choosing the themes file. Double-check if the name of the theme you want to delete matches the file name. If you host your website at Hostinger, you can also delete a WordPress theme via our HPanel dashboard. So, instead of using an FTP client, use the File Manager to access the website files and delete themes. Here's how. Go to the file section of your HPanel dashboard and open the file manager. After that, locate the WordPress content folder in the public HTML directory, then open the themes folder. Right click the theme folder you want to remove and select delete. A confirmation message will appear, click delete to proceed. Even after your theme has been deleted, you might still have leftover content on your site such as widgets or dummy content. The appearance of your site will also change according to the new theme. 
so it'll probably need some adjustment as well. Let's go over each site element you might still need to delete or reconfigure. First, widgets. To check if there are any leftover widgets, go to Appearance and select Widgets. Scroll down to the Inactive Widgets tab and click to expand it. Select the widget you want to delete and press the delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can remove a widget by selecting it and clicking on the Options button in the Tools ribbon. Select the Remove Widget option from the list. Don't forget to click the Update button to save your changes. Second, Menu Placement. All WordPress themes provide at least one location to place a menu. Normally, it is below the header, or in the footer, or in the sidebar. When you activate a new theme, the menu locations may be different from the previous one. So, you can rearrange them or add a new location depending on how the theme looks. To do that, go to Appearance and choose Menu. You'll just need to tick where you prefer to display the navigation menus. Or if you prefer a different placement, you can choose the Navigation Menu widget to add a new menu to your widget area. You can skip this step if you're happy with how your menus are displayed on the new theme. Third, Dummy Content. If you ever upload a dummy content like posts, pages, or images to test how they look on the theme, it's better to remove them from the site after you're done. Access the Posts and Pages section on your WordPress dashboard to locate and delete the content. Fourth, Images. Every WordPress theme has different image settings, according to the location of featured images or to fit the theme's layout. Usually, you'll have two options resizing the images to the new theme, or deleting the ones you'll no longer use. To manually delete unused images, open the WordPress admin dashboard, go to Media, and select Library. You can delete unused images individually or in bulk. To delete an image individually, click on it and select Delete Permanently. To delete images in bulk, click Bulk Select, select the unused images, and click Delete Permanently. That's how you delete a theme in WordPress using three different methods. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Don't forget to give a video a thumbs up and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more videos about WordPress website development and other tech-related topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.